Jennifer Landon as Gwen Munson as the world turns. I don't want you here, okay? Messing things up over and over again. I am tired of the excuses and the apologies. And guess what? It's not working for me anymore. And the Emmy goes to Jennifer Landon as Gwen Munson as the world turns. This is the first daytime Emmy and second consecutive nomination. For Jennifer Landon, she started playing the piano at six, the flute at nine, and the saxophone at ten. Thank you. Uh, if I fall over and someone has to come get me, I apologize. Uh, wow, I have so many people to thank. Um, I'll start off with the show. I want to thank uh, everybody at As the World Turns, executive producer Chris Goutman, our producers Carol Shore, Vivian Gundaker. Um, I'm, how am I forgetting people? I'm so sorry. I'm so actually very nervous right now. Um, I'd like to thank Televest. I'd like to thank Procter & Gamble. I would like to thank CBS, Barbara Bloom, Richard Mensing. I'd like to thank all of my friends and everybody who came with me tonight to support me. I'd like to thank everybody in this room. <laughs> Y'all are the most attractive bunch of people I've ever seen. So thank you for distracting me right now. Um, again, my friends, I have wonderful friends here. Uh, I have my Aunt Lori here. I have my friend Charlie Bowden here. Oh, they're playing music. And most of all, I want to thank my family. My mom, Cindy, my brother, Sean. You're my heart. And to my dad, always, thank you. Simple question, yes or no? Did you sleep with Jade or not? so much. Yes or no? I would never want to hurt you like Yes that. or no? There is nothing going on between me and Jade. Yesterday? Two weeks ago? Gwen, you're the only girl that I, I want to be with. Did you sleep with Jade? Answer me. Yes or no? Can't go by what Maddie says, because she has serious problems, and you know that. You learn, uh... To listen differently when you're raised by a drunk, you know. You know, bits of the truth come out half hidden, but still they're there. I haven't lied. Maddie's in a bad place, but she knows what she heard. So what, is it, is it her word against mine? You can't answer a simple question, so I figure through all the words that you're not saying, the truth is staring right at me. Okay. It's true. I had sex with Jade. Once. That's all. It happened once. I swear, it was just once. When? It was, um, graduation night. And you found out that I cheated on the, uh, calculus test in the paper. And we had that huge fight. So, you made yourself feel better by having sex with Jade? Gwen, I was, I was drunk and I hit bottom. It meant nothing. I, she means nothing. I love you. So you had meaningless sex? Because you love me. And I've hated myself ever since, okay? Please, just, you gotta understand, this was one time, and I love you so much. <laughs> no, no, no. All those nights, you came to our bed and said that you love me. I do. And that I was the only one. You are. And all that time, that lie was between us. I wanted to tell you. How many nights? Like 50? 60? How many times did you lie to me, Will? Huh? Tell me, damn it, how many times? one time and you saw how drunk I was. Well, okay then, that makes all the difference. Look, we fought and you didn't, you, you said you didn't even want to be around me. Don't make this my fault. I thought we were over. So that's it? So long, Gwen? Hello, Jade? No, no, you're, you're twisting it around. It was one mistake, not an affair. Oh, oh, so I should feel grateful. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I mean. You know what? You cheated on the term paper, you cheated on the final, and you cheated on me, and then you waited for the lie to catch up with you. Yes, because I was so afraid of losing you. Like, if you would have told me from the beginning, I wanted you know, to. then maybe we would have had a chance, but instead, no, you made me Jade's friend. You paid her hush.
cash money. No, that's, that's not what that was. Hey, all that stuff about finding her a place to live, did you guys have a good laugh? No, everything that I've done since that night was about trying to hold on to you because I love you so much. Gwen, this was one time. Yeah, it was one fight. I was mad at you for like an hour. That's all it took for you to go to her? I thought you never wanted to see me again. I wanted us to graduate. I wanted to take a stupid picture to show to our kids. You smashed that dream. Did I run to another guy? Look, if I hadn't been so drunk... Oh, would... please. Every lame excuse that my mother ever said started with those words. What, what do you want me to say? I want you to say that it didn't happen. That is not true. That it's just some stupid things up in Maddie's head. Gwen, I promise you, if you can forgive me, then I can do better. I can be a good husband to you. I can. I don't believe you. You have to. If you can just let me prove this to you, then everything will be okay. All right? You're what I want. You and me, forever. You and me. How does that work when I don't even know who you are? Gwen, I've made a lot of mistakes. I know that. I've gotten a lot of things right, too. Oh, good. You're keeping count. When you were pregnant, I, I was really there for you. And I wanted to be. Living with you and the baby, that was the best time of my life. And it was the first time that I, that I felt like I was worth something. Yeah? Where'd that guy go? He's right here. You can handle one fight, Will. What kind of marriage is that? It wasn't just the fight. It was, it was everything. It was how rough I was doing in school. And, and you know, I felt like my whole life went into rewind. And then, and then when I was going to fail, I thought, I thought that you'd leave me. Thought I'd leave you because of some stupid diploma? When you said you didn't want to be with me anymore, I didn't care what I did or who I was with. What happens, um, what happens the next time we fight? We work it out. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I've watched every single person in my family walk out the door. Oh, God, I don't want to hear that. You have to hear it, okay? You want to know who I am? This is who I am. For the last couple of years, you know, I've been living down the worst part of my life, and then when Maddie goes and oh, accuses me... Oh, stop blaming Maddie. I I'm not. Fine, okay, I can admit it. I screwed up and I cheated on you, but you have to know that I would never hurt Maddie or anybody else to try and keep a secret. You have to know that much. I know that you didn't hurt Maddie. Really? It doesn't make a difference. Yes, it does. I mean, it means that you, you at least believe in me just a little. I promise, Gwen, I swear, no more lies from now on. No matter how bad things get, we'll, we'll deal with things together. I'm sorry, Gwen. I'm so sorry. And please forgive me. I can't. But we, we can get counseling and we can figure out why I self destruct No, you can't be honest with me, Will. Where do we go from there? But this is a marriage, and you don't just walk out on a marriage. What, like you did? I will tell you everything from now on. No more secrets. You said that after graduation. What's different now? Everything is different. I didn't believe that you loved me enough to stay, and, and, and now we, we can work this out. Okay, if I had slept with Casey in Chicago, would you be so willing to forgive me? Nothing happened, and you acted like a jealous freak. So how do we survive this? We, we promise to always love each other, and I, I will. I, I always will. No, you keep your guard up. Will, you suspect the worst in people. Your dad does something nice. There's a reason. Your mom tries to help you out. You're suspicious of it. I get it now. You, The one person you really don't trust is yourself, and it's way too deep and twisted for me, okay? Gwen, please, please don't leave. I can't stay in the same room with you right now. I'm not gonna let you leave. Get out of my way. Gwen, this is our home. This is where we no, live, and you I love can't. me. No, I can't. here. I can't even breathe. Well, just take a minute to calm down, okay? Both and of then us. what? And then we can talk. I have nothing left to say. Where are you going to even go? I don't know. I don't care. Well, it's Anywhere too dangerous here. out there, okay? There's a murderer running. I don't give a crap. Gwen, if anything happens to you... Something did happen to me. Something awful. And right now, it feels a whole lot like dying. Bye, Will. You didn't think I missed my baby's big L.A. debut, did you? Mom, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, well, I, am. Um... I came to see you, sweetie. I didn't want to miss you singing. Uh, how did... How did you come all the way to L.A. from Oakdale? I mean, aren't you violating your parole? Ah, forget it. I got those bases covered. So, uh, honey, are they treating you like a big star now? And how did, how did you know where to find me? Oh, Adam's chickie. What was her name? It was um, Emerald Turquoise 
Jade? Jade. Oh. Jade, yes, she's the one. She told me. She, um, she felt sorry for me, honey. And then, please, don't have that look, okay? She felt badly because Will threw me out of the house. Wait, Will threw out, he, he threw you out? Why? Oh, it was nothing. It was just, it was just a misunderstanding. Well, I know that Will wouldn't throw you out of the house for nothing, so what did you do? Why do you always think it's me that does something wrong? Because I know you, Mom. He walked in. I was just looking at some papers, and, and, he, and he got a little mad. It's... What kind of papers? You know, I, I don't even know what they were. I was looking for something else, and, and I didn't even see what they were until he just snatched them right out of what my hands. What papers, Mom? Financial papers. Financial papers? And you're surprised that Will might have been upset that you were going through his personal things like that? Oh, honey, come on. The fact that you married money? No. I married Will. Okay. You married Will, who happens to have a lot of money. I mean, that's not a secret here, okay? And the fact that there's a, a bank statement laying around, what's the big deal? But, honey, look, I apologized to him. I said I was very sorry, but he... He just wouldn't have any of it. I mean, he just, he turned around and he just tossed me right to the curb. Even after what I just went through with my sister. All right, so I violated my parole just to come and see you. I don't know, I think maybe I'd be better off in jail. Hey, hey Mom, listen. Look, when we get back to Oakdale, I'm gonna, I'll talk to Will. Okay? And... We'll work something out. Oh, Thomas. Oh, honey, you do that to me. Yeah. Oh, you just... You, my Gwenny, always, always helps and helps her mama. <laughs> oh, my God, Mom. Drunk. <clears throat> I defended you. I told Will that you changed. You were going to make it this time. And I can still do it. Oh, Gwenny, hearing you say that, knowing that you believe in me, you don't know how much that means to me. And so that's why you flew halfway across the country so you could show up here wasted? Look, I slept, okay? I made a mistake. It's not going to happen again. It's not going to happen again. It's just once. It's just one slip. I mean it. I promise you I'm not going to let it happen. Do not. Do not make that promise. You cannot keep it. Gwenny. Gwenny, you used to always find it in your heart to give me another chance. I'm sorry. No, just one I can't. more chance. No, Please. Mom. I don't want to take care of you anymore. You are not my responsibility. It's too much. I need help. I want you to help me. I can't help you, Mom. You're sick. You need to go get help somewhere else. And I made a promise to myself and to Will that I would not fall into this again with you. You're going to choose him over your own mother? No. I'm choosing me. I need you to leave, okay? Gwen, the club's packed and rocking. You ready for your shot at the big time? If um, the club is crowded, I'm ready. Excellent. And break a leg out there. Yes. Gwen, I want you to leave now. I want to stay. I want to hear you sing. I don't want you here, okay? Messing things up over and over again. I am tired of the excuses and the apologies. And guess what? It's not working for me anymore. I'm embarrassed of you, Mom. So leave me alone. And stay out of my I don't want you here. When I get back. You hear that crowd? You hear them cheering out there? You think it's for you? They're cheering because somebody told them to cheer. They don't know you. And even if they did know you, what do you think they'd think how you treated your mother? Let go of me. No. You think you can just toss me aside and forget where you're from? <laughs> that ain't never gonna happen, Missy. You think you're so hot, don't you? With all those trendy clothes you wear with that hundred dollar haircut and all those L.A. hotshots just falling all over themselves to get to you. Well, wake up, sweetie. You're in the land of make-believe. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Because you forgot where you're from, honey. 
You're not a star. You're not a singer. All those years I had to listen to you singing. You want to know what you are? You're nobody. You're nothing. You're just some stupid kid who got drunk one night and let Casey Hughes knock her Shut up. up, Mom. Oh, this music thing? It's a joke, honey. Yeah, it is. I know it's going to be fun to walk out there and have those big lights on you. You're going to have to open your mouth and you're going to have to sing. Because they're going to have to see what you're made of. And you know what's going to happen? They're going to laugh you right off that stage. And if you don't think I know what I'm talking about, then your brains are scrambled more than that psycho hubby of yours. So you're the one who's holding Gwen up. You know... If you start hassling me, I mean, I come out here, I want to hear my daughter sing, and I don't want to have to no, get no, no. any more... You know, I think it's great. How's the trip flight? Oh. Well, a little jet lag never hurt anybody. Well, you know, you should really get out and see some of the sights. Hey, uh, Greg, do me a favor, will you? This is, uh, Iris, Gwen's mom. Uh, why don't you, uh, take her out, show her around the town? Right now? It's the perfect time. Treat her right. Whatever she wants to do. You know, um, I happened to buy a map to the stars' homes from the airport. I would love to see that. You know, that. that is a great idea. Greg here, he could call the limo. He could relax in the back, ride around in style. It's the only way to see the city. Oh, well, you sold me. Hmm. Sitting in the, um, back of a limo. Sounds so much better than hanging out here. Come on, Greggy, let's get You okay? Look, I know Iris crashing is the last thing you expected, but that's over. She's gone now, okay? You have to block her completely out of your mind. How? Oh. Find a way. I mean, there's an entire club out there and a music exec from a major label dying to hear you sing. Okay? It's time to get out there and show them what you got. Gwen, are you hearing me? Gordon's not going to wait around. We have to do this right now. I don't think I can. I thought I was ready. You know how many open mic nights have I played in Oakdale, but... Maybe I'm just not ready for this. For what? I don't know, this whole L.A. thing. Is this because of what Ira said? No. Don't go there, Gwen. Don't do this to yourself. But what if what you said is true? You know, even... just a little Let bit... Let me ask you a question. Do you believe in yourself? Because I do. Your whole career is on the line. You know, if I go out there... Look at me. Gwen. Look at me. You cannot let your mother get to you. Okay, what she is... It's not just drunk. It's not just mean. She's jealous, Gwen. She's jealous because... She knows that the last thing that you are is a nobody. You're magic. Every single part of you. And she can't compete with that. She can't even come close. What you are is untouchable. You have to believe that, no matter what she says. I'm trying. It's just... Listen. You have a talent. You have a talent that comes from inside you. Not from your mother. Okay? You have a chance to do something rare tonight. Now go out in that club and show everyone that you have the guts to take it. Forget about everything else. I know it's hard. I know you don't want to trust me right now, but I'm asking you to. Because I promise you, I would not be here right now, tonight, with you, if I didn't know in my soul that you can do this. I can do it. 
can do this. I can do this. Hey, how you doing tonight, Los Angeles? <laughs> 